Chris and I had the opportunity to finally get down to the National Farm Machinery Show. It was our first time ever actually going. I've wanted to go for years, but running my business and being such a small business, it's hard for me to get away for that many days and not be able to do all the other stuff I have to do. But this year I bit the bullet and went down there and it was a lot of fun. We got to see all sorts of stuff. Spent a couple days there, or parts of a couple of days, talking to a lot of folks. The second day we saw things that we missed the first day. Either you walk right by it or there's so many aisles that well, you, you just get confused on what you saw and what you didn't. And they have stuff for tractors, big and small. I mean, a lot of the, the equipment that was there is not really relevant to, to my business and to what I, I sell or what I use either, but it's still cool to see some of that really big equipment in person that's in pristine condition, right? Brand new showroom quality. But of course, there were plenty of different tools and tractors and all sorts of brands you could sit out and try them out and see how they felt. So a really good opportunity. If you ever get the chance to go, I'd highly encourage you to do so. They say if there's one show you're gonna go to, this is the one. We bumped into a whole pile of YouTubers out there too, so you'll probably see some familiar faces in the video. But I thought we'd just kind of take you through, mosey on through all the booths that we saw. Just kind of like you're there yourself. So let us know what you think. Here we go. Oh, you're fine. Yeah, we got the big map now. Mm, okay, so we're... Let's get out of the way here. This is like their, this is like their 1025R model right here. Yeah. X20S. See, he's got one of those flip around seats on there. Oh, there's no third function. Yeah, they're good looking tractors. They're good looking tractors. I like it. It's disgusting, you know. What I mean? A lot of hydraulics there. It's <laughs> cool, Baylor. Coyote. So where do we go? Ooh, I gotta check that out. It says tree terminator. That, that could be cool. No, I'm just kind of looking around. Thank you. So these guys, uh, the three foot one? Oh, it is a three point mount. It's like a little mini one. I wonder if this fits on, uh, if a subcompact would lift it. Ooh. The hydraulic flow is almost the same on the JCB. All I need is 10 gallons a minute. Oh, okay. At 2,000 psi. Wow. So any 50 horsepower skid loader's got that. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Not much Actually, at all. Even for the bigger one, the, the 20 inch. Well, 20 inch, I need 15 gallons a minute, but okay. still, any skid loader today oh, is yeah. producing that. Yeah. Wow. Uh, you just have to have the, the 20 inch. I'm looking at lift capacity. Okay. Um, where Wait, lift capacity? This weighs 1,400 pounds. Oh, and, uh, oh, oh and the, okay. Uh, okay. the 20 inch weighs 2,200 pounds. Okay. So yeah. you have to have the uh, carrying yeah. capacity. Yeah. But this one here. Is this a 14 inch? This is a 14. Yeah. Wow. That's sweet. It only weighs 800 pounds, but there's a lot of head yeah. leverage on yeah. out there. So. Is this a telescope or no? Nothing telescope. No. Yeah. It just rotates. It's okay. Got a swivel. Oh, nice. That's cool. 
That's handy. So that's good for limbs and stuff then too. Yep. On a skid loader, you got eight foot of reach here, so you ought to be able to reach up about 16 foot inside trim okay. branches up to 10 wow. inches in diameter. That's sharp. So, um, what's the tree terminator? That, is that the mower? Well, tree terminator is our name brand. Oh, it is. Oh, okay. So all okay. of these are tree terminator. Okay. Um, it's just, they're made by Grace Manufacturing. That just happens to be our rotary mower. Okay. What size is that cut? Five inches in the hammer. Okay. All right. And what kind On of float do they use? Flow. Standard up to flow. 25 gallons, 15 up to 25. 25. Okay. And we make a heavier version of it that'll go up to 45 gallons. And what diameter will that cut? Eight inch. Wow. That's nice. Huh. Okay. Well, that's cool. How do you guys sell? Uh, mostly through distributors. Okay. Uh, depend on where you're located, if we have a distributor in your area or not. If we don't, we just sell direct. Okay. Where are you located at? I am a dealer in, in Michigan. So. Up in Michigan. Yeah, but I sell. Well, Farmco is our distributor. Oh, are they? Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah. I, I sell online, though. I sell nationwide. So, okay. but. Well, uh, you can buy from Farmco our equipment. Good. Okay. Well, that's good to it's know. our distributor up there. Grace, would it be under Grace Manufacturing then? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Huh, I'll have to check that out. That might be worth looking into. For yep. sure. so, this is the mulcher I have right here. Got that same one. Okay, R30. I don't even have a rep here. That looks, that looks sweet. Those well, triple stack of, or no, double stack of weights. Dang. Got a little bit of a counterweight up here. Pretty sick. Oh wait, yeah they do. Whole thing. Okay. So that way all the stuff's way back there, but you're still in total control up here. Huh, but it's all electric then. Wow. Interesting. Is it the same series then? Yeah, it's the same sprayer. It's just got a here much. Okay. So in other words, if you want to do all three mm -hmm. at the same oh, you time, just, just flip that on. Master okay. switch. Yep. Need and yeah. you need it to increase your pressure a little yep. bit. Six, eight, ten, twelve, twenty-four, maybe? Twenty-five? Twenty-six? I don't even know. What does it say? Man, it seems like so much maintenance. Like, I think this would be like what the summit size is like. Cab? I think so. That's pretty sick and glorious. Big. Yeah. This must be like a 
barely the economy model. Seventy three twenty power shuttle. Looks kinda like the M four, huh? Yeah, it's pretty pretty similar overall. This must be the is it not? Smaller cab, isn't it? Where's the is this not the uh huh? What? Reason other than just looking? No, I'm just looking around. I'm looking for new manufacturers to work with too. Fill out my lineup if I need to. But what do you uh, need? Depends. Depends, whatever you know. I just I want quality, you know, and good right. pricing, features, accessibility, you know. So, but we uh, need. A, I know your business model. I kind of observed your business model. Yeah. You would like the gentleman over there on the phone. Yeah. He's our. Uh, yeah. Very, he yeah. kind of geeks out about that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, uh, are you doing anything with Summit? Or are you just just influencing Summit tractors? Yeah. Are you developing new products or just trying to perfect the ones you have? Well, I, I agree. So, are you, uh, now your equipment like I'm taller than it. I just feel like all the moving parts on those things. Oh, okay, there's the PTO. That's what Yeah. And that's probably. Yeah, I mean, like this. Take some random pictures. Yeah. Are you um, are you guys still doing just the one pin and then the bolt-on second pin? Yes. Okay. okay. It's a, co a big cost consideration. Could be. Yeah. It's a lot. And then it doesn't. Well, most of them have. Did the coupler have two holes? Yeah. I mean, so they'd be able to. Because if you had, if you needed this. You know, I'm selling. I'm, when I'm selling these to like a five series, right? Like a. Yeah. 520M or something like that, right? That's. that's uh, yeah, cool. Pretty much you can do that, yeah. So you can retrofit though your old. Yes. Oh, yes. sweet. You have that across here. You can do that. That that's that's, that's huge. The newest one of the newest things. That's a big deal. The location was great. I thought it is a good location. It was yeah. Really easy to get in there. You definitely weren't going to get anybody that came by. But yeah, it works out. Do you guys have any of the um, like your three point stuff? Uh, like your I didn't read that close. I just saw like they all posted it on there. What's that? But he's there. Over seven foot tall, isn't it? Should have just kept the manager, you know? Huh. Kind of miss it, though. Actually, I can't think of the video title anymore. Uh... Backo doesn't yeah, it's actually I feel like this tubing here is a lot smaller North Carolina well that's where their headquarters that's doesn't say that's where it's made hey not much how are you good good I was looking around today uh, is that a flail mower there too or is that a tiller that's a tiller, that's a tiller? yeah okay so flail flail mower flail you're like the only ones on the market that yeah. make a quick hitch compatible flail mower. Oh, sweet. And this is 1980. No kidding. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, we manufacture in North Carolina, but we've got dealers all over the country. Interesting. Oh, they have cedars, too. Wow. This would be great though for around the ponds, you know? It'd be fun to have a uh, blower mounted on the skid steer, you know? That'd be sweet. Bet you that thing would chuck it, you know? Well, actually, uh, the designer was fired. He was let go. So a lot of. Not contacted here, but you can't contact the other guy. Okay. Love to be it. Wow. Yeah. 
I mean, these grill guards, I've seen a few of these now that have like nothing on there. Yeah. I don't quite understand that. There are no uh, armrests. There's the only thing on this whole fender here is the joystick. Got your controls up here though, which is nice. Wow, this is quite basic. Huh. Those are fat tires, aren't they? Please do not sit or stand on more. 56 grand. Oh. Uh, 40 grand. Oh, but you get a... Yeah, that's sharp because you see it digs the initial, softens it up, this flings it out, and then it smooths the bottom of the trench right there. I think I've seen these on, online before. Like the Kubota. Batteries probably. No. Yep. Like, it looks fake. I will say, look how short these wraps are. They're great. That do what exactly? Is this just drain a lake? Is that what it is? How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Good. Got some cool stuff here, man. Appreciate that. Looks like it's built like a brick house. Wow. Huh. Yep. I sprinkle in skid steer stuff now and then. Yep. But Where are you from? From Michigan. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. Did this show? Mm -hmm. That's big. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Sure. Well, yeah. That's about as big as they come for. Yeah, so. that's why if you're going to go to one, this seems to be the one to go to. <laughs> Two. They do a lot of skid steer stuff, but I do. I just. Oh, yeah. Well, we're, you know, we're by. 30 miles from the skid pro and quick attach. Oh, okay. Those, you know. Well, we're getting a, a lot of, uh, well, the difference is this is called I guess, traction in uh, the Moultrie yeah, show. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, yeah. Huh. <laughs> kind of shows it all. to make sure they would both work in there and so we wanted to just put one in. And gotcha. Safety bar. Uh, yep. 
the way this is set up, this is ground level. Okay. So ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tires flip, see how much pressure she put on him. Yeah. will probably be all right. Yeah. Maybe a break. He keeps doing it, you know? Yeah. He's a trooper. <laughs> Safety is Perfect. Well, I could say these are uh, a lifesaver. Huh? All right, so let's see. We got to go. Wow, this is a whole other, whole other world in here, isn't it? Let's see. I've heard about you. I've, I've talked to Hank. I've talked to other people. I've talked to you. I don't know how we ain't ever talked. <laughs> I know. That's just how it goes, you know. Yeah. But, uh, today, huh? Yeah, we got a meet and greet. Uh, Do you? Yeah. 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 You had a bunch of people stop by? I'm doing well. How are you? Nice to meet you in person. Hey, you know Tony? Yeah, we just bumped into each other. Yeah, yeah. So I, I was looking around the rest of the area for you, but you're, you're blending in. <laughs> and everybody's here. They're, they're doing good. Hard. That's awesome. Arms family. Yeah. Mm. I watch you all the time, though. It's good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Likewise. I still don't know how you do it. Doing a video every day. every day, man. And I tell you what, Facebook has been really good for me. Some people are still I know. I know. Do you? I don't. We, we put them, we just download them, the same video we put on YouTube, you know. Any good? Not really. This thing, oh, this is kind of hydraulic, kind of fingers on it. Phoenix right, right here. Okay, wow. This is 100,000, and then this put keep one. You know, wow. Actually, when you hit it, you kind of get that that uh, that harmonic noise. Oh, yeah, yeah, I just, I heard it there, yeah. Touch the scene, yeah. That's crazy, man. No. Hey. Good to see you. Yeah, you, you too, it? you too, yeah. How's it going? <laughs> nice to see you. Yeah, how's the show? Been Fun? Quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, we were here yesterday too, and uh, you can't see it all. Well, you think you see it all one day and you don't. You miss all sorts of stuff, you know, so. But then you get pulled in different directions and all that kind of thing too, so yeah. big crowd out this morning. We were just talking about I think it's bigger today than it was yesterday. Yeah, sure. Their rain's held right Yeah, it is, it is. But the line even to get in was long, just, you know, through parking and all that. But, so that's a good thing. Oh, yeah. You got anything that, uh, for like compact tractors that maybe I should take a look at? Um, are, are you selling our root rake gravels, like our baby? Baby root rakes? Um, the light, the light duty root rakes. Yeah. Uh, so, I just looked at those the other day. Well, so the big, the huge concern with small tractors is lift capacity, right? And so, like the work saver grapple, those little guys are. I really prefer that. I, I think that does a better job. Yeah. This thing, you put a six-inch branch in there, it'll just rattle ahead this bottom to pick something up. Oh, that's a, yeah. That's a false yeah, no. I do the rake kind of clean up. With this, you end up standing it on end, you're yes. on your dump cylinder. Yeah. Oh, weren't they? Yeah, yeah, they are a little bit more money. And, and So, no 72 then for like a 4 series? No, I would. You know, People would love to have a 2 inch receiver in those forks. They would. They would well, you know, I mean, Wiles just orders a whole pile, and I, yeah, and I have them bring a few skids, you know, yeah. what do they come in, six packs or 12 packs, I can't remember, but, um, the, so on. Right, right off the top of my head, I don't remember what our upchair are. Okay. And then the pulverizing basket at the end, that's going to break down the rest of your clumps and kind of give you a smoother finish. Okay. All right. I think quite a bit lower than one of these guys. Oh, for sure. So, she's on. Big old. Uh, well, but still, even the, the business end down here and all that. Hey, how are we doing, Bill? 
it's just that really sell this to make any money. <laughs> but if you ever want to sell the company, yeah. I'd be interested. Yeah. If you had a patent on it. Oh, no so kidding. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. And 30 days later, it was. Uh, cause it's a bigger, you know, a bigger, beefier one. There's a lot of people here. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I was going by to see everybody. You know, it's like the most, the highest concentration of YouTubers in the area. I was like, I don't know. I got to get pictures. I'm taking pictures. I can't post them because I ain't got no signal. Ready? <laughs> Look at that. I thought yeah, she was a millennial horn. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. You too. Want to take a dump on one way? That was from your damn state. Somebody, well, I got a, I got a YouTube channel, but I mean mainly the small compact tractor type stuff though. Clips it, cleans it. Oh, these are on a disco too. I know. But so maybe the language is not official. What am I missing here? Thanks, buddy. Look at so there's some sights and sounds for you. Just kind of, well, let's just say it was a lot busier the second day than it was the first. I don't know what the last couple days are like, but we went the first two days and, and they got really packed out. But man, it was a good time. I think we'll probably make it down there again. I just kind of moseyed around and Chris followed along with the camera. I think next time we do it though, we'll probably both be mic'd up. A lot of good well, you're just noticing things, right? So a lot of new equipment that you're seeing, you're trying to figure out what some of it is or maybe what differentiates it. And so there was a lot of good back and forth banter. We talked to quite a few reps too. That was pretty fun. Now, of course, we do sell tractor attachments. That's one of the main reasons we were there to kind of seek some new manufacturers out. But if you're looking for something, we'd love to have the chance to earn your business. Check out goodworkstractors.com. We ship all over the country every day of the week. Our prices include shipping, rewards, and financing too. If you enjoyed today's video, we'd love to have you tag along. Hit that subscribe button right down below. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.